Boxing Opinions 100. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave your comments. Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Uh, they came out. This fight went, not to say exactly how I envisioned it. I thought Ryan Garcia will put up a little bit more resistance. But that just goes to show you the skill set level between these two fighters. Now when you're watching both fighters fight other fighters, you think both of these guys are spectacular. But Ryan's left hook was not even a factor in this fight. Javante Tank Davis took Ryan Garcia's left hook away as if it didn't even exist. Not, and Javante dropped Garcia in the second round. Uh, Garcia reached out a little bit too long with the left hook, overextending himself. Tank ducked the left hook, hit him with a left, powerful left hand, put him, uh, Ryan Garcia, on the canvas. It was, overall, this was a very, very tactical fight because Tank Davis shut down everything that Ryan Garcia used to do in previous fights. He wasn't able to do any of this stuff in this fight. But hats off to Ryan Garcia for stepping up, wanting to take the fight. And all these people, I don't know why they uh, want to call out Tank Davis. Why the, what they see in Tank that they think they can't expose. Rolly Romero, and, and I mean the list just goes on. Oscar De La Hoya, Bernard Hopkins, all these people was uh, Joe Gooses. Uh, Ryan Garcia was is the greatest thing to ever come along. He's going to finish Tank off. And Tank Davis predicted that he would finish Ryan Garcia in the seventh round. And guess what round it was? You called it the seventh. He drops Ryan Garcia with a body shot, knocking the wind out of Ryan Garcia. And the way he did it, the way he came up under Ryan's power, he was sitting right there. And Tank is a powerful, powerful guy. He did the same thing to Berrios with that body shot. So evidently, the power that he's uh, displaying with this left hand is very, very powerful. So what's next for Tank Davis? They say Tank Davis is the face of boxing now. So where does Ryan Garcia go from here? It's not over for Garcia. He probably could beat most people that, you know, don't have an IQ of a Javante Tank Davis. And Tank's defense, I've been telling people, Tank got D. So you just can't run up on Tank like you think you can run up on him. He ain't going to let you run up on him. And then you're going to get caught trying to run up on him. That's how, how uh, Ryan Garcia got caught the first time. Once he got caught, he calmed down and wouldn't run up no more. Once he wouldn't run up no more, the fight was finished. Let me know what you think about Ryan Garcia def uh, be being defeated by Javante Tank Davis. And I'll see y'all later.